Can AI and large language models be more strategic than maybe a consultant company like a KPMG or McKinsey or Deloitte? Well, I think it's a common misconception about large language models and AI in general. People just think it is next token prediction. Is that true? Absolutely. However, through next token prediction, can large language models be as smart or smarter than consultants? Well, let's give it a try, shall we? All right. If you're new here, let me tell you what this is. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily news that are helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage generative AI. So I've been lucky enough to get to talk to a lot of consultants from big consulting companies for the Everyday AI show. And we've also done a little bit of, uh, you know, consulting uh, for consultants. Weird, right? Uh, regardless, uh, I, I really wanted to tackle this issue because I feel uh, a, a lot of people think or assume uh, that generative AI is not necessarily uh, strategic, right? Uh, but a lot of studies have shown that, yes, um, generative AI and large language models can actually be more strategic, more creative, and more empathetic than the average human uh, in blind studies. So uh, let's let's put it to the test. So let's just go straight into chat GPT. Um, I'll kind of show you what we're doing here. The point here isn't necessarily to you know talk about prompting or anything like that, but uh, I, I do think it's important to just give this a try. So all we're doing right here, literally just a standard window. This is a giant prompt. This is not how you should prompt. Uh, you should always go through a you know proper prompt engineering process, going through multiple shots, etc. Uh, I'm doing this just as an example, uh, just to sh show you that it doesn't even take you know someone who's uh, great at prompt engineering. Uh, to get great strategic results out of a large language model. So here, all I'm doing is I'm giving uh, ChatGPT, we're using ChatGPT, uh, ChatGPT Plus, so GPT-4. Um, we're just giving it some basic information about everyday AI. So uh, in this case, we are uh, more or less asking ChatGPT to be a, uh, a strategy company, like a, a Deloitte or KPMG, you know, Crow, et cetera, right? Um, so we're giving it some information about everyday AI. And ultimately, here's what we're doing. We're, uh, I'm saying, please give me a general strategy for 30, 60, 90 day plan. All right. Again, so uh, I, I, I know for the most part how, uh, you, you know, to get the most out of models. So I'm going to be going quickly here. I essentially have a retort. Um, you know, this is something that you always generally would want to spend time going back and forth with a model, but I didn't want this to turn into a 30 minute tutorial. This is AI in five, so they're generally five to ten minutes. Uh, so I knew that uh, ChatGPT would respond with a decent, you know, 30, 60, 90 day plan. I already had something uh, typed up that essentially said, "Ha, huh, this is a little too, uh, a little too broad. Let's break it down a little bit more." Um, so now ChatGPT, the good thing is, is it's super fast, right? And one thing that, um, you know, that I think people don't fully understand uh, when they think of large language models is. It's doing the knowledge work a human or a consultant would do, right? So as an example, if I hired uh, a, a big consulting company to do this project for everyday AI, presumably they would have a back and forth conversation with me. Then they do a bunch of research on the internet, right? So that's essentially what I'm doing with this large language model. Um, I am having a conversation with it. I'm directing it to go do additional uh, research on the internet specific to the details that I give it, right? So that's the thing. If you really know how to work with a large language model, if you know its limitations and potential capabilities, uh, you know, strategy can be uh, strategy can be quantified, right? Uh, it can be explained step by step. If if you can explain something uh, to a human sitting next to you, if you can explain the thought process that goes behind strategy, you can get similar results out of a large language model, even though it is in theory just next token prediction. All right, so now I have uh, kind of one more uh, one more prompt that I have. So I'm I essentially ask for something uh, much more specific. So uh, let's see. We have a 30, 60, 90 day plan here. Here. Let's just take a look, right? Um, so this is great. You know, the wild thing is all of this information that I gave it, right? I said, hey, we we just finished our first year of everyday AI. Here's what's going good. Here's what's not. Here's how we're making money. Here's opportunities, right? So essentially a very short kind of SWOT analysis, so to speak. I knew the first iteration. Again, this is why, uh, you know, one shot or, or no shot, you know, zero shot prompting is never good. So I knew ahead of time that the first result wasn't going to be good. I had something typed up ready to go. Um, and the crazy thing is, is already within two prompts that I didn't even read this, um, you know, on this 30 day plan, I kid you not, this is already what I had in mind. 
right? We were already going to be looking at some influencer and partnership marketing integration. Um, and it's leaving, it's giving me very specific, um, details here. So pretty, pretty good, right? Um, I've had my own digital strategy company. Um, I'm reading this and this is pretty, this is pretty good, uh, pretty good content here. So I have one more prompt here that I'm just putting in, um, essentially asking, okay, give me, Hey, let's start on this 30 day plan. Give me uh, you know, week by week, step by step, tell me exactly what I need to do, uh, to accomplish this. Right. Uh, so, so here we go. I love this because it's, it's already saying, you know, Hey, here's your project kickoff. You need to identify influencers. If this is the route, you know, so it says, you know, use tools like BuzzSumo or LinkedIn to identify potential influencers in the generative AI and tech industries, right? It's going through partnership scouting, develop, uh, affiliate program structure. It's even giving me right, uh, tools that I should be using if I go down this route. Uh, so just right there, I don't want this to turn into a 20 minute video, but I think you can already see without me even doing true prompt engineering, you, you know, just, just having pre-planned prompts, uh, asking, uh, chat GPT to do some, some general research to use Browse with Bing, uh, to, to, to think step-by-step, step, right. All these, you know, prompting 101 basics. We already got what I would say is a pretty decent 30, 60, 90 day plan with putting very little effort. I can already tell you this. I can already tell you this. There's a good chance. Let's just say I had an unlimited budget um, and I hired, uh, you, you know, 10 different consulting companies. Let's just say I hired 10 different consulting companies. What I just got out of chat GPT without even putting any real work into it, right? Um, I can already guarantee that it would have been better than at least three or four of those companies that in theory would have probably cost six figures. It probably would have been a, 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 an engagement that was multiple months. So I, I really wanted to highlight the importance of what large language models are large language models are capable of if you understand their limitations and if you know how to get the most out of them. So imagine if I actually spent time doing this the right way, uh, feeding uh, chat GPT more examples uh, of my work and saying, hey, here's some of our web pages. Uh, here's our show notes. Here's examples. Break these each each down. Um, it would have done in, in my opinion, if, if, if I would have spent an hour on this project, I think it would have performed better than seven to 10 of consulting companies. I kid you not, right? I, I've worked with them. I've talked with them. Uh, I, I think people are really sleeping on uh, chat GPT and other large language models, especially those that are co connected to the internet. I think that they're sleeping on their ability uh, to, to really be strategic, to be creative, um, and to almost play in a consultant role. Uh, all right. So I hope that, uh, I hope this was helpful. If so, let me know a comment. If you disagree, let me know. Let's talk about it, but go to your everydayai.com, sign up for that free, free daily newsletter. Um, and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. So thanks for watching. Uh, and we'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks y'all.